And today we're talking about the Spider-Man uh, movies in the MCU. So oh God. who wants to st- start us off with some? So what I do know about the Spider-Man, uh, the, the MCU movies in general, is they do take place on Earth 616. So that's like the regular Earth, right, guys? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, from what I've seen, yes. And, the, and whenever... So there will be spoilers for Homecoming and... Oh, yeah, definitely. For all of the movies, pretty much. Yeah, it's not like Homecoming Abort came out now if you're a couple yeah. years ago or anything. Well, I mean, yeah, well, the new one just came out last... Or a True. couple... A couple in, in July of 2019. Not to date this just episode. Just a month ago. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say not to date this episode, but oh, well. Oops, but too late. To, uh... Trying to think what causes like the spinoff. Is it Secret War? They pretty much caused the spinoff of them going into different universes and worlds. It's uh, <laughs> a great question. <laughs> that guess no one as good as mine. Anything about? Hey, I'll pull it up. <laughs> there I we go. It's, um, pull it up, Jamie. Up being a thing where it's like <laughs> pull up, Jamie. It ends up being a thing where it's like um like the whole civil war mm-hmm. that happens and um that ends up creating like a secret war. And uh, Captain America being evil and Hail Hydra, all that stuff. So they kind of hold that in a little bit. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. But yeah, wasn't it like, wasn't it like Captain America basically got brainwashed and legitimately thought that he was working for Hydra, even though he wasn't, or something like that? Yeah, mm-hmm. he wasn't working for Hydra the whole time, huh? Yeah, he was. Uh, it was kind of, I forget. I know he got brainwashed. I think by like Red Skull or something, and he mm-hmm. ended up um, working for Hydra. And pretty much just turning the back, which is why it was Tony Stark and everyone against him. But Hmm. also Spider-Man wasn't – I don't know if he was actually involved in that or not. But I know that's just where it split up because from Secret War – or that became Secret War. And then um, a whole bunch of stuff like House of M and everything else started derivating off of that. Hmm. Because there was a a whole big celestial thing that happened. And like Old Man Logan stemmed from that. And yeah. Hmm. So – in the MCU, which is Earth six one six, what you're saying? Yeah, six one six is like the basic six, Earth that we live yeah. in, pretty much. Yeah. So, did they? I can't remember. Uh, I know that Peter Peter Holland. That's a YouTuber. <laughs> another YouTuber. Tom Holland uh, <laughs> yeah. got introduced, and and <laughs> Peter Holland put us on. Uh, he got um, introduced in Civil War, mm. and it was like mm. a big oh my god! It was him and when when the trailer dropped, and him and Black Panther on the trailer, everybody oh, liked him. Laid an egg, that. essentially. <laughs> yeah, I, remember dude, where, I, I remember where I was when I saw that. Yeah. Whoa. Which is weird. But it just, I don't know. I was at a pizza place for oh, some reason. Good job. And oh, that's a good place to be at when Marvel trailers drop. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, but did they, Mike, did they were in either Civil War or uh, Homecoming, did they ever actually show us how the bite happen or it's no. just like hey no you, you know yeah or it's basically like you, you know, guys are you idiots know like yeah yeah, yeah. He you was know like, what's what and i think it's um i don't remember if it is homecoming or civil war was like i think it's civil war he's like you know when whatever happened happened i got all these powers so they they know you're not dumb yeah, yeah. and they, it's not like yeah. uh batman where they re <laughs> Retell it every time. Same origin story for the first thirty minutes of the movie. Dude, every freaking (laughs) or like every every single that in Superman, every single one. And I don't know if you ever seen uh, Full Metal Alchemist. Every other episode is that scene where where the mom died, how they basically screwed up royally. Yes. Every (laughs) other episode, and it's like, dude, you get it. You screwed up. You messed with the dark arts. Like, (laughs) honestly, go ahead, Noah. Chip in. (laughs) Yeah. No, I was going to say, like, it's very refreshing oh, not yeah. to have to yeah. to see it. Because we've seen it twice already. It's like if they made a Fantastic Four movie and oh, introduced oh, showed, show, oh. showed them how they got their powers. We already know how they get their powers. You know, I kind of hope they pull the same thing. Gosh, I, hope they don't do, I hope they don't do a Fantastic Four movie. Apparently, people were thinking. Well, they are. They the, own, the, I would they like they it. Own the, uh, yeah, they, they own, own the rights to Fox. It's not Fox. Well, yeah. but the, the guy... cool thing is, I think Fantastic Four would have to be a TV show and not mm. a movie. I don't think it would be a, a good Disney movie. Plus. I think it would be a good TV show. Mm. Disney Plus. I agree. I think mm. I agree with that. Kind really? Like because Titans. I almost feel like it would work good as a movie. Like, I feel like they could do another Avengers thing. I know it would kind of be recycling the same formula, yeah. but they could kind of bring, yeah. bring it to the Avengers level when they have the Fantastic Four movie at the very end of the phase or whatever. Yeah. I think they could do that. Cause I, I know Kevin Feige... Uh, 
said something about Fantastic Four in one of the Marvel, I think it was at Comic Con or something. He mentioned Fantastic mm-hmm. Four, and everyone like jizzed their pants. Well, yeah, apparently at the end of Spider Man uh, Far From Home, that little space station at the end of the, the the end credit scene that's apparently like everyone's like that could be a setup for the fantastic four so like maybe like maybe like if they do it's like an explosion in the background and nick fear's like what the hell i oh, sorry accent <laughs> humor my bad what the wow hell? <laughs> wow that's well, offensive you have yeah. to censor that yeah we, we avoided uh accent humor in the last episode didn't we're we? gonna get demonetized here oh yeah for this last episode definitely <laughs> the, all the jive turkeys out there we had <laughs> oh god it was so <laughs> re- like, i know was andy was, was reading it yeah what was that uh, word what was that word rocket word? rocket racer <laughs> rocket, Dude, rocket racer bad. and Wait. big wheel <laughs> I feel like i'm, I'm really glad that Hey, Andy handsome. read it in a British voice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really glad that Andy read it in a British voice because that was like, like, I'm not trying to be that guy, but like I was reading it in stereotypical jive in my yes. head. <laughs> oh, dude, it hurt me. <laughs> it I literally hurt me. That. It was really funny. Oh, I didn't gosh. watch the whole thing, but it was, it was Did you see the part? Funny. Did, did, did that you see the part when I was, I was uh, reading the police officer part? Yes. He literally dropped the N-word. Well, oh, not, no. really, not really. It this. was close enough. Oh, oh my dude. goodness. I almost slipped, bro. Like, <laughs> Why? <laughs> Had to hit him with the butt. Well, ins- no, instead no, of like, a... instead of uh, humanoid, let's say they put... He uh, said... Yeah. You know, you can imagine. I got oh you, I got you, I got you. It was Royd. It was like, Royd. <laughs> it was like, it's a lone man. I'm not saying that. Yeah. I'm not saying that. Like, you I said did. it out loud. I broke, I broke character you and everything. Did. Like, I'm not saying that crap. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gosh, that was Go, go back and... <laughs> I think that's the funniest part. Like, go back and look at it. Just yeah. that part. Like, uh, if you have to... Go back and watch uh, Lower Cast Spider-Man, Lamest Villains. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, Spider-Man, not gonna lie, has some lame villains. Like, yeah, dude, I think we should some explore trash some trash yeah. villains. But he also has some broken villains that only show up every now and then. Yeah, like, like the big wheel. Like the big wheel. <laughs> like the big wheel. Um, yeah. What's his name? Sticks and sticks and stones. He's Spook? busted. Okay, so <laughs> awesome. so let me tell you this. So there's yes. a guy named Sticks and Stones, right? Um, and essentially, what he does is his power is he can dematerialize anything and just kill it oh whoa yeah. alchemy <laughs> pretty much kind of it looks like it looks yeah. like giant looks like he just poisons you to death and you just turn into nothing oh um and then there's um such as an m he uh he he can pretty much turn into anybody or make you see people so like i could mm. if i'm talking to nick i could i can make nick make me look like a hot british chick and so in his mind please, i'm a hot british chick Mephisto? I forget, oh forget the, um, yeah, Mephisto. Oh, he's so actually yeah, he's in the new broken movie. Broken his trash too. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And, what? He was in the newest uh, movie. He's in the new movie. Yeah. Wait, he was? Yeah. 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 He was the the main bad guy. Mm-hmm. Oh, you mean you mean? Oh wait, Mysterio, Mysterio. Mysterio. Sorry, Mysterio. sorry. There we go. There Mephisto, we go. There Mephisto, we go. Mephisto, Mephisto. Yeah, uh, he's a he's Mufasa, a yeah. isn't he an ancient or something? Yeah. I forget. Um, so wait, what are Mysterio's powers exactly? Is that what it is? He can just make he, he creates halluc- yeah, he can, halluc- uh, halluc- yeah, he just creates power to lie. Massive level illusions. Like yeah. Okay, so just uh, to I'll pull give it you away from a little bit. Pull it up, Jeremy. So he can. Uh, there was the whole old man Logan thing that actually started um, in the MCU. They pretty much said Professor Xavier lost his mind and killed everybody, right? In the comic books, it was actually Mysterio who pretty much came in. And Logan, he was at um, the Wolverine. He was at the Institute, the Xavier Institute, and he just walked out of the room, and it was all of the like villains, like every single villain under man. So he was like, "Bet I'm just gonna wash him real quick." Kills everyone. Mysterio appears. He's like, "Thank you. You did our job for us." And he killed every single person inside the Institute. Mm. Okay. And so after that, he was like, "Oh, I'm not gonna use my claws anymore. I'm gonna go into hiding." Mm. So pretty much retracts his claws, never uses them goes out in a farm and pretty much this is during the time with um it's a different universe but essentially there's like the world is broken up into different sections so there's like an iron man section a hulk section a okay. thor section a spider-man section um and he lives in the hulk one which is like really run down rural like kind of in the movies yeah and um from that yeah there's a whole string of stuff that happens eventually it ends up where 
he ends up fighting Hulk. Uh, Hulk is old as trash. Like he ends up fighting Bruce Banner, ends up getting whooped up on Eaton, and then Wolverine decides to open up his claws and rips him out. And yeah, mm. yeah. There's a whole story I can go into that. I know a lot Dang. about Luke and stuff too. But yeah, <laughs> that sounds crazy. Maybe next month we'll talk yeah. about Wolverine only. <laughs> I'd be down. Oh, yeah, I got you. Dude, that's dope. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's pretty. Been... It's pretty cool. Yeah. I don't know nothing about it. But again, that's a that's there. a broken that's a really OP Spider Man villain. Yeah. But it's just also yeah. it's just depend on who's writing him. A lot mm-hmm. of the a lot of the stuff like the MCU is different because they can kinda go with the same okay, well we know this person is this, like Hawkeye can do this, this, and this. We're not gonna add anything special. But if you go to the comic books, Hawkeye is actually pretty busted too. This mm-hmm. is based off who's writing him at the time. Yeah. What I what I liked about the MCU in particular, yeah. um, uh, homecoming mm-hmm. was that you know marvel has this thing where there's a lot of like really world ending villains you know like oh, yeah. obviously oh, yeah. you got thanos and obviously oh, yeah. you got like yeah you got all these people like we want to destroy the world for whatever Christian. what i liked about far from home first of all the vulture in the comics looks lame yeah he's like an old and guy. they yeah. made they made michael keaton looks ultra cool yeah he looked pretty cool yeah you know and and the fact that he was just like, hey, I'm not trying to destroy the world. I'm just some dude that's trying to get even with Stark Corporation, essentially. Mm. Right. So that's what I like. The, the approach to the Vulture was something that I honestly enjoyed the most about that movie because he just doesn't look that cool in the comics. And the way they yeah, designed his outfit and, and everything was, I don't know, to me it was the best part of that movie. Yeah, it looked pretty yeah. cool. And I had one of the better moments in the MCU where he finds out that the vulture is um what's yeah, oh gosh Dad. yes that, that was, was crazy good yeah that was actually yeah that was pretty that's pretty dope and they made it's, it, it, those, it's yeah. so super intimidating it's like especially whenever they get out of the car for the dance mm-hmm. and he he whips oh, out that he whips out that pistol and he's like <laughs> listen oh <man."> yeah <laughs> listen fam just enjoy your night in there don't come out <laughs> don't worry <laughs> i was like my God. it's so intimidating it was good I mean, not to mention Mike Keaton's a great actor. Yeah, for sure. Oh, he's fantastic. Yeah, for sure. That's that's probably, the, honestly, in my <laughs> opinion, the genius of the MCU mm. is the cast. Yeah. Yeah, that's Have true. they had a really bad actor, really, in the movies? Mm, not that I can think of. Not off, off the top head. of my head. Um, maybe, maybe, maay like... Phase one, maybe like the Hulk movie with the Edward Norton. Oof. Oh, okay, we don't talk okay, about that. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So the Hulk movies, they've painted into a corner, and they've just yeah. they, they they just can't do anything with them. Yeah. Like, cause that's also another thing. Like the directors of those, it's pretty much like in the comics where they just, it's based off who's directing it, mm. how powerful the Hulk yeah. is or how weak he is. Because yeah. in my opinion, Hulk is probably one of the strongest people, if not the strongest. Yeah, for sure. But it's based off who's telling the story. Mm. And that's mm-hmm. also one of those things like we were talking about earlier where they just recycle his, like how he became the Hulk in the beginning. Yeah. And it's just like, yeah. well, I think the only good one there was, was um, I can't remember the actor's name, but the one where he was pretty much on the run and he was in Spain or in like a oh. like, Spanish speaking country. Yeah. The, uh, it was the one in the MCU. That's in the MCU. That's the, the, yeah, yeah, the incredible yeah. Hulk. Yeah. Edward Edward. yeah. 2008? That one. Yeah, yeah. That was a good one. And I, I really, was hoping they would flesh that one out a little bit more. Yeah. They introduced um Yeah. Who was that villain they introduced? Uh, the big headed one? Abomination? No, wait. Uh, yeah, Abomination. Yeah, Abomination. Abomination. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Abomination, Abomination is coming in the end. Yeah. Um, I, w- I wish they would have fleshed that out more too. They still yeah. have the same guy who is Abomination in the MCU. It's still the same guy, but he just hasn't done anything. Yeah, exactly. Wait, really? Yeah, Thunder Ross? the Ross. Yeah. Ross. Oh, 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 you mean the director the, Ross is yeah. Abomination? It's the same actor. No, oh, no, really? No, Tim Roth is Abomination. The actor from the um, bunch of Tarantino movies. He's the British guy. That's who's Abomination. I just watched it a couple oh, weeks ago. It was. Um, Maybe I'm, uh, I'm talking about the other guy. He was. Yeah, he's Abomination. Who was the guy that um, ends up uh, when they're in the lab? He ends up getting like thrown to the floor, and then his head oh, gets yeah. Yeah. cracked open. He I was turning into something too, but I forget. Mm. It was towards the end of it after he was fighting Abomination. But um, I think they set him up for scientists. another character. They, yeah, they set him I'm up as another out. comic book character, but I don't know who that is. Red Hulk. Was that, that going to be Red Hulk? She Hulk. Dude, that would have been crazy. <laughs> that that could have, but I don't think that was General Ross. 
don't know. No, Ross was in it, but he was he was like the parent. He was the mom. The da- the mom. <laughs> he was the dad. <laughs> the dad of the girlfriend. Okay, the... I haven't seen that. I've only seen yeah. one once, and it was a long so time. Ago. I've never seen it. General it's Ross actually is the one that ends up becoming Red Hulk, and then She Hulk, the daughter, that's who becomes the Red She Hulk. <gasps> So, yeah, that's a whole thing, too. <laughs> if, wow. if you want to go based off of, like, the characters' names and stuff. Yeah. But, again, the MCU is... Completely... All I know is yeah, that... The, yeah, MCU's been changing it up a, a, a bunch. All I know is that Marvel doesn't want me to see that movie. He wants me to forget <laughs> about that movie. <laughs> but I will say the only person that I didn't think, didn't like, uh, was it Iron Man 3? Uh, Guy Pierce. Oh yeah, mm, God. Mostly yeah. because I think <sighs> was he the the main villain? Was he the suit yeah. or was? Uh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Mostly yeah. because yeah. <laughs> mostly because I think Guy Pierce is yeah. super like gimmicky and he's like yeah. really played out and he's just like really not that good of an actor to begin with. And <laughs> the thing is, he just he looks like a bad guy, so yeah. people put him as a bad guy. Mm. But it's like, ah, oh, get him out of my face, man. He's going <laughs> to hire somebody else. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I feel like, yeah, I feel like they could have gotten a better... I, I, yeah, I watched I think, a bunch yeah. of the MCU movies a couple months ago, mm-hmm. like, in, in preparation for uh, Endgame, but I never actually finished all of them. Too many. But, I mean, it's it's hard, dude. Yeah, like, I would give me... I'll give the MCU credit for, like, as you were saying, they hire really good actors and characters and stuff, the people that portray the actual superheroes and villains. Mm. They have been setting up yeah. so much oh, of man. stuff from, from for Avengers and even just fleshing out people's backstories. Like, even when they do solo movies, it's still prepped you for all the Avengers stuff. If you were to go back and watch them, like, all yeah. the little tidbits and sneak peeks, and they've been mm-hmm. setting that up for, what, 10 years? Yeah. Compared yeah. To yeah 10 plus. DC trying to play catch up. And Dude, rip. they tried to rip put it all in seriously. one movie, and it was just like, guys, what do you like? They they ruin, they ruin Batman versus Superman. Mm, they, it was they terrible. They completely that movie was crap, yeah. slaughtered it. Save they Martha. came back really, really, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, well, you know what's funny? You you know what's funny to me? It's mm. that. Batman vs Superman. I know we're supposed to be talking about Marvel. Just yeah. Get on this tangent right quick. Oh, let me get on this tangent right quick. <laughs> Go ahead. Batman vs Superman could have been avoided because Batman vs Superman committed the exact same mistakes that Spider Man Three committed in two thousand and six. Yeah. Just the yep. exact too many villains. Same, yep. Too many everything. Uh, <laughs> too many. Yeah. There was just too many. Too many villains. <laughs> too many. Too heroes. many stories trying to intertwine at once. They they were trying to force so much stuff and like you could tell watching it it was like it was like the director even whoever was the head i guess not even i can't even blame the director he was probably Zach trying Snyder. to listen to people <laughs> <laughs> he was probably trying to just listen to the dc um the dcu people but it was like they just tried to force so much in that movie to play catch up they're with playing catch up yeah because yeah. mm-hmm. they realized mm-hmm. oh crap marvel has yeah. x x x x x Here like even their guardians of the, of the galaxy one. movies exactly and like they're just they're just going like no matter if they d- d- design solo story characters, it all still revolves around the war. Yeah, a one central. Every, yeah. every single yeah. one of them still revolves around that one thing. Yeah, and that, for now yeah. anyway. Yeah. Well, that exactly. was that was another thing I was looking up. It was like Spider Man Far From Home is a good midway point because it's it's tied up a lot of the loose ends for uh, right. the all the first phases. And the yeah. Infinity War's over, so all that's wrapped up within. Sp- it's like it's wrapped up, and then Spider Man kind of carries it on. It's like a flat, flat point in the timeline, and then it's like r- ramping up and opening up everything else to go yeah. into Phase Four and beyond. So it's like a. Here's like what a, I think. Go ahead. Uh, here's what I think happened with like I know people a lot of talk about the differences between you know the the DC Cinematic Universe and the MCU. I think it, uh, what happened is Marvel. I essentially struck genius and yeah. th- because if you think about it from a from just from the comics dc has just as good ip mm. oh yeah yeah easily. they have easily e- and and i will say this what marvel what what dc lacks in live action makes up for in animated movies oh yeah yeah, yeah I, I will. I will one hundred percent agree with that because mm-hmm. for mm-hmm. some reason, like that's why when DC said they were making their own channel and they continued Young Justice, like me personally, and they were continuing Teen Titans, I love both of them. For sure, for they are, oh, yeah, they are for great. Sure. They are great. They are fantastic 
at making animated shorts or animated um, yeah. series because it's just very i feel like they're able to do more with them and they're able they're not restricted to whatever the hell dc is telling them to do like in the movies mm-hmm. where it's like no you got to put this in there we got to get mm-hmm. this out we, we got to prep for this movie and it's like no and the animated they can actually just focus yeah. on a central yeah. point mm. <laughs> what i think what should have had what dc should have done honestly because this is what probably happened you're yelling M- at the, you know, the, you're yelling at us again <laughs> The MCU, the MCU started. Back up, man. Back up a bit. Back up. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's all good. Um, I turned the volume down and everything. It's, it's all good. It's all good. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just Getting a too loud. Loud. I'm sorry about that. I'm, I'm just a lot. Anyway, so Super what? Exciting. Here's probably what happened. The MCU started, and DC went, "Oh, look at these idiots," and then <laughs> it ramped up, and then DC went, "We better play catch up." What DC should have done, in my opinion, was just. Play the long game, build an animated universe. Yeah. Ooh, mm-hmm. yeah. That would that because would've now, been because now it's obvious that DC is trying to play catch up. Yeah, you know. Oh, it's super, which yeah. yeah they had a leg it, up with it, the Batman movies for a little while. The, yeah. the Dark Knight trilogy. Yeah, because, yeah everyone would yep. always go and see Batman, but now they ruined it with Batman versus yep. Superman. Like they ruined it. They completely yeah. shattered yep. anything like that. And anyone so, would tell you the best DC. They should have. They should have just taken their time and did an animated universe and play a completely different mm-hmm. angle. Yeah. yeah and set so. themselves it, apart from Yeah, I know. Like they really could still do it, but gosh, it would be a little so much... late if they did it now, honestly. I think yeah. So, too. so much so much wasted potential in my opinion. Yeah. I will say that you have these yeah. Yeah, oh, I, was just, I, will... I was gonna say this. Go ahead. That they have these like great characters. Like yeah. Batman yeah. has some of the best villains in the history of comic book. Oh yeah. You know, that's where Marvel got super... some of their villains from was the copy yeah. of Batman. Stuff. Yeah. I mean my favorite superhero is a copy of Batman himself. Exactly. <laughs> Moon Knight. Uh, Moon Knight. Knight, yeah. Moon Knight. Uh, Did you hear uh, that they uh, might they might uh Keanu that, Reeves in talks? Yeah, yeah. Oof. 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 I'd be happy down for that. Oof. What I was gonna say though was I I actually really enjoyed Shazam. I thought that was one of the oh, best, man. if not the yeah. best. I haven't watched yeah. that one yet. And he's, he is one of yeah. my favorite DC characters. I love Shazam. It was really, really good. Watch that. It's really funny. It's really like the original Captain like, Marvel. Wholesome. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. super it wholesome. A mm. Yeah. A lot of fun. It had a really great message about like uh, like foster kids. I thought it was really good. Yeah. Well, he is a kid. And that's, he's like, he's, I would say on level with Superman, if not a little bit more powerful, but he's a kid. So that's like his, his, his kryptonite yeah, as it were yeah i think gimmick, I uh, what, yeah what i liked about shazam was like it portrayed what would actually happen if a 12 year old had superpowers like <laughs> yeah i feel oh, like yeah. Yeah, oh yeah that would be on youtube and they'd be flossing mm-hmm. and then you know they're doing other <laughs> <laughs> so i think that's actually realistic like they they would that's something that they would do mm-hmm. yeah so um i guess to tie it all and so we don't go off on a tangent. Anymore. I mean, we any more than we already uh, have. Yeah, any more than we already bring have. Bring it back to the so, Spider-Man. Yeah, Spider-Man. to bring it to bring it all back. So essentially, and this is the last DC thing I'll talk about is both well, both DC and Marvel, they're rushing for DC is rushing for the new Fifty Two, mm. which in Batman versus Superman, how the Flash would kind of show up, that was based the new Fifty Two. It's pretty much like Superman, uh, not Spider, Superman, Batman, um, all those heroes. But they're new people. They're younger people. Oh. So that's what that is. So Flashpoint is ends up causing that and causing so much of the new people to come in because it changes. It's an alternate timeline. So that's what they were trying to rush for. That's why if you like the Flash and stuff and he was going in Batman's visions because that was Flashpoint. They He essentially, what they were trying to do was say, oh, they were trying to tie it in and say, oh, he fucked up. Mm-hmm. And, oh, he messed up. And yada, yada, yada. Boom. Flashpoint. So they're actually going to. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. They're actually they're actually planning on making a Flashpoint movie, but then yeah, it's just exactly. it kept changing directors, and now yeah, it's probably exactly. not going to even get made, which is probably a good thing, honestly. Change actors by accident, maybe. And um, the Marvels turn around to that was so that that's what this whole thing from Marvel built up to was um, oh, I got to remember the name of it. DC's was the new Fifty Two, Marvels was all new. I think it was just all new Marvel or something. Mm. to where essentially the new Avengers. everybody ends up dying or going off and doing their own thing right so in the comics um i don't know actually actually they actually did a really good job of correlating it with the uh, mcu but tony stark doesn't die he actually ends up joining the guardians of the galaxy so mm. the tony the new iron woman 
uh, is his wife, and then the daughter becomes the new new Iron Woman, like the official one, until she becomes of age. Um, Hulk ends up Hulk ends up going into hiding and no 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 excuse me Hulk ends up actually Bruce Banner and Hulk end up fusing like they did, um, but he ends up taking a protege named Cho who's an Asian guy an Asian oh, like, yeah. Chad football I heard about player. This. So Cho ends up actually getting injected with the, uh, um, or ends up taking pretty much the Hulk from him, and Bruce Banner becomes a normal dude. Cho becomes the new Hulk. Uh, Thor ends up dying, and um, the woman actually does become Thor, and her her whole thing is I forget her name, but the, she actually is in the comics. They actually did a really good job of doing keeping that up with the movie. But her whole thing is, oh, I can't be a, a real Thor, and the whole identity crisis and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, I think everybody else dies. <laughs> yeah, I, I pulled up. I'm trying to go through all the Avengers. Oh no, Bucky. Um, Bucky ends up dying. Captain America ends up dying. Oh, he's evil, so he ends up, um, he ends up dying off, and um, the black dude ends up becoming the new Falcon. Falcon. <laughs> yeah, Falcon. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Wow. So he actually they, they kept up with that. So he actually <laughs> does become um, Falcon. I'm trying to go through all the Avengers right now. Who am I missing? What happened to Spider Man? Spider Man is the same. Um, so Spider Man, he's always been regurgitated, right? Because yeah. there's there's Peter Parker, mm-hmm. there's Morales, there's um Miguel. I think Miguel O'Hara. Yeah. Miguel. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think. I'm trying to think. I think Miles Morales. I think he's yeah. the one that becomes the new. No, no, no. I take that back. There's actually a lot of Spider-Man. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's what ends up happening. There ends up being like five to six different Spider-Men and Spider-Women. Oh, holy crap! Yeah, <laughs> and but like children. Miles Morales is like the main one. But they're all like they're all like teenagers and stuff. So that was actually that was actually that, if I remember correctly. Mm. So yeah, yeah. are they going to? Uh, I know that they released Phase Four. Uh, what's what's the big? Have they said what's the big final movie at the end of Phase Four? Uh, I don't think they want to just I'm, yet. I'll pull it up yeah. to see what it is, like what they have yeah, out. But I don't Can think they <laughs> don't think they do. <laughs> see, that's what I think my assumption would be: just them rolling out all the new. Okay, well here's your new Iron Man or yeah. Iron Woman. Here's your new this. Here's your new that. Here's your new this. Yeah, I feel because like didn't they? Didn't they? I didn't they wanted to do Secret Wars? I don't know. Spider Man is a huge player in Secret oh, Wars. Yeah. Oh yeah, big, 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 yeah. big, big role. He's a yeah. big so player did... in Civil War until he uh, dies. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So yeah. I I pulled it up uh, for Phase Four. I don't think they have, they don't have the big one out yet. They have Black Widow, the Eternals, Shang Chi, and the Legend Eternals of the Ten Eternals probably Ravens. the big one. Uh, I'm actually pretty excited for Shang Chi. The actor they chose Disney is like, yeah. really good. He's Doctor, funny. Oh, well, Doctor Strange in the in the multiverse of madness makes me think that they might actually finally open up the multiverses because Mysterio out here dropping uh 833 like he's actually from you know Earth 833 making it huh. think like uh Spider UK is going to show up I was really happy and then uh <laughs> nope <laughs> and then after so after Doctor Strange then it's Thor and then there's a ton of TV series coming out yeah, I don't know how I feel oh, about the I TV could see stuff. Them, I could see them doing that. I could I see guess me that, pirating that all sense. of them. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Honestly, I'd, I'd, I wouldn't buy, like, I'd probably pay for it. They're probably, I they're would gonna, pay for it. I would, I would they're cancel. They're going to bring the Obi-Wan. Yeah, I'd cancel yeah. Hol- uh, Hulu for it, probably. They like, well, yeah. doesn't, it's... doesn't Disney own Hulu? Oh, now they, no. do. Uh, yeah, they do. Yep, they do. They do really? But you know it's about to be a yeah. different subscription box, or subscription fee. Oh, yeah, like the Disney. Oh, yeah. Well, they're gonna take all the Disney stuff off of Hulu. So, yeah. there's Disney stuff in Hulu. They keep spreading yeah. it too thin. Uh, They've well, taken all the actually, Netflix stuff. They keep spreading it too thin. Some of us are gonna fight back and don our pirate coats. Honestly, you know what sucks is that it's just we're getting Stop cable. About that. Just, we're getting cable just on the internet. That's what's happening. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Pretty yeah. much. Cable. Which is really lame. Lame. And what you're paying for is like, well, the whole niche before was like, oh. Well, guess what? You don't have to worry about ads. You don't have to worry about commercials. Yes. And mm-hmm. it's cheaper. But now, because of all these different streaming platforms, where mm-hmm. it's like, oh, yeah, you can all the stuff that we were using before to make it cheaper. Now mm-hmm. it's like, oh, well, we're going to throw ads in there. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yeah, you yeah. get to watch all yeah. your originals. You get to watch all of this. 
but we're going to up the price a little bit. And when we up the price, if you don't want to go with it, then you're still going to have to watch those ads. Yeah. And you're not well, gonna boys, back to pirating it is. Well, even, if you back put, to okay, pirating. even if you put an ad blocker on like I do, like if you if you watch the podcast, yeah, you'll see I have support ad Support the artist, Nick. Well, support the artist, Nick. Well, I do. I pay <laughs> Hulu. I pay Hulu $13 a month, and they still yep. try and run ads on some oh, of the dude, stuff. Oh, dude, just get just yep. get Spotify Premium. Dude, I do. Yeah, that's, thing. that's exactly what it's I do. It's five bucks. Well, you still have yep. to run ads, though. Uh, I do had something. The, so... I had the student, and, and then I put ad blocker on, and it's like, we don't know if you have an ad blocker on. I'm sorry, but you can't uh, have that and watch Death Parade. And I'm like, I just wouldn't watch my anime. Freaking communist. <laughs> Yeah, Hong Kong. No, I'm just kidding. But it's okay, funny that they're started. doing it in a different way. <laughs> they're like, oh, these aren't ads that you're going to see on TV, like the Viagra ads or <laughs> buy this oh, book sick. or Jesus Loves You ads. It's literally like, here's ads to our other shows that we want you to watch. Yeah, yeah. as long as it was at, that's at okay. Amazon Prime. I mean, if it's, it's yeah, exactly. if we're on Disney Plus and Disney Plus shows me an ad for Spider-Man while I'm watching Loki, that's okay. But if they start showing me like Oreo ads, I'm gonna get pissed off. Yeah, because you're paying like what ten bucks for yeah. all this stuff, but you get yep. ads too. It's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Hulu. But if, if you pay, if you pay thirteen ninety nine, you don't oh, have to do exactly. it. Gosh, it's so expensive. <laughs> and just... I mean, it makes sense that it comes to this though, because like everyone wants to make, like everyone's trying to make money, and like the best yeah, way to make yeah, money is just monetizing true. things with ads. Yeah, so boxes. I mean, it makes sense, it's but it, but yeah. it sucks. The the biggest thing the way I have capitalism works, kids. <laughs> oh my gosh the problem i have with it is there's so many streaming like if it was like yeah. one or two i'd be okay but you have like netflix yeah but you have hulu netflix now you have disney you got amazon mm -hmm. prime you got dc gosh there's so many i don't yeah i wouldn't all to consolidate hbo gosh yeah. hbo <sighs> they're gonna have like ABC actually and, and or not abc but like nbc they're making their own streaming. yeah they're pulling MSNBC. well they're they're pulling the office they're pulling friends they're pulling the office <sighs> See you now. I hate friends. <laughs> wow, friends We're is funny. just gonna make it useless now. No, it's not. If you've like, if you've noticed, if you've noticed, like, um, I'm so serious. Back and <laughs> forth. Oh come on, it's not that bad. It's entertaining. Yes, it is. No, no, no. it's it's entertaining. It's yeah, thank you. It's friends, yeah. listen. Let me get on this. Let me talk about the lore of friends. I was about to say, we'll come back. Let me talk about the lore of friends. friends. So Spider-Man. Friends. The lore of friends. So Spider-Man is actually in Friends, if you think about it. What? Yeah, I've seen yeah. it. How? He's actually, it's New York. It's New York. I've seen it. Oh, yeah, it's so New York. See, duh. You see him yes. flipping around in the back. You see him exactly. swinging on his webs. You actually have to jailbreak uh, the DVDs of Friends <laughs> for you to see Spider-Man. You see, it, you see a crappy into the, into see the code a, of Netflix. You see a crappy PS2 PNG of Spider-Man <laughs> with the oh, the background. It's going on like 15 frames per second in the background. <laughs> but um, you look up the side. Uh, I mean, Batman is a different kind of stupid, but putting that aside. Wow, wow, it is. I mean, we can go on a tangent for this later. Listen, <laughs> save it for after Friends the show. Stupid. Save it for like the no. last five. <laughs> Chicks out, chicks out, chicks out. <laughs> Friends assume you're dumb. We'll talk about this later. It's a spoiler for now. The show Friends assumes you're dumb. <laughs> what, Big Bang Theory? Just, like, Big Bang Theory also assumes you're dumb. Big Bang Theory is, is objectively bad. I think we can all agree <laughs> yeah. on that. The first few seasons were okay. Mm. I it mean, was they're not terrible. terrible. Yeah. Now it is trash because they've tried to turn it... Away from what it originally Shellman's was. Big Bang, Bazinga Bing Bong Burger. Exactly. <laughs> but um, shout out to I all guess the mega fans. To end the streaming, the streaming platforms and everything. Yeah. Um, back in the day when phones were like offering the unlimited data and stuff, they would offer with it. Oh well, if you get unlimited oh, yeah, data, yeah. or you get, get this Netflix, plan, get you Spotify, get Netflix for free. Get you get Hulu for oh, free. Yeah. You go with Verizon, you get this for free. So now it's turning into. Okay, well, you have them for free, and that's what was that was. I'm pretty sure they were tanking money doing mm, that because yeah. they were just bundling it. So now I think the next step is going to be, well, Comcast and Xfinity, or Xfinity, they're going to offer. Okay, well, you can just bundle your internet now, oh, and you'll geez. get Hulu, Spotify, <laughs> this, oh, that, Amazon Music, Google Plus. You'll get all that for free, but you have to increase your. Yeah. Like it's, I guess it'll be based off of what you're, what you pay right How now. How much bandwidth you buy? Up. Exactly, and so, but they're going to completely get rid of cable, and they're going to try to thank goodness reintroduce this. And God knows what's going to happen with net neutrality. 
Oh, oh, oh dude, yeah, but that's why it passed. Oh, but they stopped. And oh, then an article was, still, was, was it Article 13 too? Didn't that happen? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think pie. Dang. Yeah. Actually, I'm very unpopular. I can't hear you, dog. You sound like you're in a tunnel. Yeah, get, get a little bit. Yeah, get a little bit closer to your mic. Super unpopular opinion. Uh, super, super unpopular <laughs> opinion. I'm actually not yeah, black. super stressed about net about net neutrality. Okay, Ben Shapiro. Uh, myself, but <laughs> okay, Ben Shapiro. <laughs> and now, n- now our uh, a word from our sponsors. You have to buy gold. <laughs> you ever seen any Ben Shapiro? You ever seen any Ben Shapiro? I used to watch a lot of Ben Shapiro, but anyway, I don't like uh, what, what's coming down to. I like him. Anyway, uh, let's talk about the lore of Ben Shapiro. No, but... <laughs> so it used to be, you know, back when everybody was rocking DirecTV or Dish, it was like, well, of course I'm going to pirate crap because I don't want to watch commercials for it and I don't want to pay for it. Right. Then when Netflix yeah. came out and Hulu came out, it's like, you know what? Screw it. I'll pay for the convenience. It's really just a convenience. Fee. Yeah. If you think about I'll it. I'll pay yeah. the five I'll bucks pay- a month for this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'll pay the convenience fee, and the quality is better. Same thing yeah. with Spotify. Nobody pirates mm-hmm. music anymore. Spotify is the way to go. Yeah. But now, mm-hmm. you know, we're busting out the old pirate hat again because yeah. they're putting – they took away the barriers of entry, and then they're putting them right back in different ways. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Netflix originals, and, and, Amazon Prime originals. Um, well, it's more like – well, now we have Amazon. We have Hulu. We have everybody yeah. and their mother – Everybody and their mother is trying to have a streaming service. Mm-hmm. They're yep. oversaturating the market. It's yeah. really what it is. Yeah. Yep. I and, mean, why and not? This... It's like if it works, why not run for it? Yeah. Yeah. Because well, because... Because... at some it's point, at some point, it's mm-hmm. going to be you know, there's going to be too many, too and then yeah. yeah, the supply is going to have exactly. Some, yeah, we're going to have some yeah. sort of uh, alternative to it, which is what streaming platforms were initially. Yeah. You know, exactly. Something's going to happen. Someone's going to come out and scoop up everything. I yep. hope and exactly. the cycle will will anew itself again. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah basically. It will. I mean, that's just the way that it goes. Like, Until we something... die. <laughs> In 2097. <laughs> Damn, I that's hope I live that long. long. I'm clocking out at 117. I don't know about y'all, but... Honestly, I don't even think it'll be 2097. I give us 10 years. <laughs> 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 Not even going to lie to you. I give us 10 years before the I... planet just, like, we're too hot. Before, we, before Mickey Mouse comes along and... Demands you pay him money. Oh, the Mickey Mouse Mickey is gonna Mouse, get his money. The, the Mickey Mouse <laughs> overlord comes in holding hands with President Lord Trump. Mickey. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna Jesus get my Christ. money. <laughs> Lord, Lord my Mickey, money? Mr. Trump, uh, a Mr. Kim Jong Mickey Il? Trump. Un? Oh, that's my favorite know. guy. And then the elegant Emperor oh. of Japan will stand off oh, against yes. these unrighteous fools. <laughs> Oh yes. Oh. Is this the lore of America? Like, was... Yes, this is this is foretelling. We have the gift. So, of guys, crossing. what's your yeah. thoughts on the crossing the Delaware? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. On Christmas Day. <laughs> I mean, it did happen on Christmas I mean, Day, right? I, Dude, I, that's I, don't, the... I don't know. I think if you look in that... worst Christmas ever. If you look in that picture, I think <laughs> you can actually see Spider-Man flipping across the back. Yeah. The oh yeah. Background. Yeah. He's actually right in the water. He's swimming. It's you, actually uh, Spider Patriot, sir. <laughs> exactly. There you go. His that iconic uh, alter picture of him crossing the river. He's just swimming in the background, just fighting a uh, fighting a shark. Mm. It's pretty yeah. cool. That's pretty his cool. Because sharks definitely um, live in Delaware. Oh, dude, yeah. His his, his uh, what do you call it? His uh, well, uh, alter ego. We, his identity is. Uh, uh, we have a Spider Man that's a little bit too early for them, but it's I have the sixteen oh two the sixteen oh one yeah sixteen oh two comics. I love them. That's like ancient. It's Earth three one three. I got it pulled up here. It's Peter Parag, uh, no Peter Park, Parqua, Peter Parqua, mm. and uh, <laughs> I love it. He's you an said old sixteen oh one or sixteen oh two. Sixteen oh two. Is that with the introduction of Chameleon and stuff? I don't know. That apparently has a part to play in the uh, the um, Spider Ver or no. I had it pulled up. In the Spider Verse, I don't remember. I just had it pulled up, or the no, the all the all new, the all new, all different Marvel. Like I just that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what it is. All new, all different Marvel is the equivalent of the new Fifty Two for DC. That's what it was called. I think I just saw Spider or Peter Parkwa up in here. Peter Parkwa. 
Not gonna lie, that's not a very good name. Well, yeah, it's, it's terrible name. It's Peter, <laughs> so regular Peter, but it's P A R Q. Oh no, no, no! I'm talking about the all new, all different. Oh, all new, all different. Yeah. Marvel. Yeah. yeah. It comes like, after. Wow, was... It comes after Civil War Two, and Would the intern uh, yeah. come up with that name. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> it was like that's that's pretty much what everything goes for. So I think yeah. the state, the Phase Four, is gonna be all new, all different Marvel. I think that's what it's going to be. Yeah. So let's see. Early well, 2015. What, two photos. What I think is interesting about about Phase 4, and now that we're talking about, you know, all these freaking streaming services, it's like uh, the beauty of the MCU, in my opinion, was the casting, but also the timing yeah. of the re- movie release. So yeah. it's like, oh, you know, oh, it's a great movie. I'll wait. Uh, unless you're like in 2017 and they dropped three Marvel movies. Ah, yeah, well, a oh, year gosh. or two. But now they're putting barriers of entry f- to themselves. Yeah. Because yeah. now, because now, if you want to get the whole picture, you gotta, you, you have gotta, to get Disney Plus. You gotta spend a couple True. more dollars to watch. And so it's like, well, within this, yeah, one, two, it's so within these next two years, twenty 2020 twenty and twenty twenty one. Um, that's there are one, two, three, four, five TV series. So that for two years to watch five things over that entire you know whatever you gotta get disney plus so, yeah well, is there no more 2019 movies coming out for marvel i guess not black widow's the next one on the list i thought uh thor was coming out with one last movie it says not this year. 2021 is thor love and Thunder. i think we're i think we're done for this year i think the last okay. one was spider-man S- star wars comes out this year yeah, yeah that's God, the one dude <laughs> How do you how do you guys feel about We Disney talked about it in an episode, the first episode we ever did. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's all no, good. It's we all we good. sat there and talked for three hours. We were <laughs> killed it. So I will um, say though we need to bring will, it back because we were at forty two minutes. Yeah. All right. Okay, Spider Man MCU, so Mysterio. <laughs> so well, I just I don't know, that, that's my big question. It's like in a way Disney broke was following a great pattern. Yeah, but then it's like you know, part of me, part of me is thinking, do they just want to tell a really, really good story, which is what they were already doing? Because mm-hmm. it seems I think to me they just want to cash in. They are. I think. I feel like now the thing that makes me think they're cashing in is all of the TV shows. You know, Falcon yeah, and Winter that's Soldier, exactly what I'm saying. WandaVision, mm-hmm. Loki, and Hawkeye. Hawkeye. The what if I think is going to be cool on its own like i i don't count yeah, that I as a cash cool. in. i don't think that's a cash in all I the main, be cool all the main movies here seem all right except for maybe black widow that seems like a cash in too yeah, yeah a little, little bit. bit i feel like they planned it a while ago and then they actually didn't they, yeah. they should have done it earlier well there's a lot of behind yeah. the behind doors talk otherwise you know these movies wouldn't come out and the consistency you know it would be like um uh what's that video game that keeps forgetting itself Assassin's Creed, maybe Halo. Oh God! Oh no! It's it's basically like Halo. Yes, Halo keeps forgetting its own lore. Like between yeah. Halo, nice. Halo, kinda, yeah. Halo three, four, and five are all so different. I think they don't have any behind Halo the doors. Halo three, four, and five is just Call of Duty. Gosh, Halo four, Which, Halo it's four, and five different kind of. Yeah, but you I, know that like they were all the new. Oh. But there's so many that, like there wasn't like no. It's like no one sat down and talked about it, like. But they've been like talking about these movies for a long time except for i don't know about all of this new stuff it seems like they were like hey i got an idea falcon and winter soldier do it make a show out of it mm. here's my thing to... yeah, I, I here's trust my thing that they i, I trust that they'll, they'll they have a cohesive plus, idea yeah plus also everyone's gonna watch it anyway yeah i mean there's i don't trust like... that it's gonna be good but i trust <laughs> that they have a, a whole encompassing <laughs> idea sure for sure here's go ahead here's my thing about uh the um the tv shows i just i i love the movie format so much that i i this is what i don't want it to happen but i think it's going to happen i just don't want to watch these shows for the sake of watching these shows like i would love to watch these shows and to the main storyline but i know that's not gonna happen so agents of shield you want to watch agents of shield no, no, I no, don't want to watch Agents. Maybe shoot. some oh. Agent Carter. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that bad. Was so Listen, bad, Agents. I don't know about Agent Carter. I don't know about Agent Carter. It was all right. But Agents like before they canceled it. 
Agents of Shield wasn't terrible, in my opinion. It, it was okay. I, I like, never, it was watchable. I never finished it. it. It was supposed to be like a tie into the movies, but they never had any Ugh. bearing on the movies. It was like, hey, remember that scene in Thor: The Dark World? Well, hey, here's the cleanup crew. Congratulations. Hmm. 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 That's yeah. what I. That's what I'm afraid these and movies, just, that these TV shows might be. That's maybe, exactly what it's going to I be. Think, kind of beat a dead horse. Although the Falcon and Winter Soldier, maybe that's like. Is it supposed to take before or after? I don't know. I I, I don't know. I think it's going to be after. It's definitely taking place after. It's definitely taking place after. Yeah. That's going to be, the, that that's the, gonna shows... be the, the key to all these shows, I think, and is their success of if they take place before or after. Because obviously Black Widow is going to take place before. I think the Eternals, the Shang-Chi, Doctor Strange, the, the, all are going to be after. Falcon mm-hmm. Winter Soldier will be after. WandaVision has to be before. Infinity War, right? Yep. Or True. is he going to be True. the monochrome vision where he's boring and he's all white and he lost all of his color? No, because he's dead. But he, he comes got, they didn't bring he got him the back. soul stone pulled in, out of him. In the comics, he comes back without the soul stone. He's basically just a robot and he's soulless and he's boring. Yeah. He's emotionless. It sounds really entertaining. I just, he's boring. Uh, my thing is, yeah, it sounds super well, boring. Well, Loki's going to be uh, before after. as well. After? No, that's, after. That's, They're bringing him back? after... It's okay. Loki is taking place after he grabbed the um, the Tesseract, Tesseract, the alternate version of in, in Endgame. An alternate you version know, of Endgame. You know when when they actually when they're going to get all oh, the Infinity Stones, the okay, time heist. Okay. <sighs> yeah. So when he grabbed the Tesseract, it's going to take place after that. Oh. What? Which I actually. Yeah, I think that's going to be kind of cool, honestly. Uh, it'll be all. I actually right. couldn't care less about Loki. I think Loki is one of those. I know, I know, it's unpopular <laughs> opinion. I just think Loki is a great villain. The casting is amazing. The character is amazing. He's had his time. Uh, yeah, I just think it's honestly it's just fan service. Oh, because true, true a lot of dad, true dad. Be, because, because a lot of a lot of people like Loki, like particularly like all the MCU the girls. girls. Like, oh, Loki's yeah. so hot. Yeah, like Loki's like mischievous and always oh, edgy. And kind of yeah, whatever. That's cool. Your, your models want you bring it home. Basically, I just <laughs> basically all I just think Loki. <laughs> it's he's an interesting character, and I, I love that. I love the character. I love the acting. I love yeah. the writing. I just leave it alone. Like we're done. <laughs> you know, like he's great, yeah. but I'm ready to move on. Ooh, well, to bring it back to what we were talking about with the whole Spider-Man thing, what if they start putting all the movies on this? Disney Plus. Well, obviously they, they're not going. That's, that's what they're gonna do. That's what they yeah, are they're moving oh, on. Every yeah. any Disney property is gonna go to oh. the streaming. Yeah, I think that's what they're gonna do. Okay, okay. So Endgame, Endgame is gonna come out digitally on this service. They're not gonna put it on Netflix. That's or the first one. Yeah. I, already, well, I mean, this, which all the other ones are gonna be on there too. But, I already yeah. bought it digitally for on Google because I was like, I just want to watch it now. So yeah, I definitely didn't pirate it. I can. <laughs> so I can support the artist. I this is one I did. I did, but all the other ones now. <laughs> I'm not about to. Well, they don't need the money, well, Benny. They don't need I the money. I think what's funny about what, <laughs> what's genius and ironic about Disney is like, you know, 20 years ago, we had this thing called the Disney Vault. Ooh, like, oh, yes. have, oh, yeah. have fun. Listen, listen, listen. Have fun getting your Lion King, right? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. But now they not only did they not only did they break that rule, they put it on his head. Yeah. Now it's like, screw the vault. Come and get it. Yeah. Hey, let's make a remake of that movie that we put in the vault 20 years ago. There we go. Ooh. Got him. So, so I was going to ask, yeah, go um, what's you guys' I guess for MCU Phase 4? I know we kind of touched off of it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what are you guys all excited for? Um, I guess about, or what would you want to see in Phase 4? What four? if? I about to say, if what if was really? A, yeah, well, see, I'm a big fan of side quests. Like, you won't catch me playing the main quest in an RPG all that much until I mm-hmm. have to. I love the the side quest where you're like, "Whoa, I see a dead body on the ground. What's the story of this?" Or like, if you can change the whole story, or just like do a little stupid whatever, like the time in Dragon Ball Z whenever Goku and Piccolo get their driver's license, like just stupid stuff like that. So I think I'm gonna be most that's excited. that niche. Okay, well, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> well, I'm either going to... That's I'm, not niche at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> okay, fine then. And all the... Never mind. And all the other anime I watch. 
whenever they do stupid stuff like go to the bathhouse or go on a trip to the mountain or whatever. <laughs> the episodes in My Hero Academia where they stand around and do nothing, where they solve a murder mystery. I think what it's, I would like to see would be... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was just going to say, like, it's it's funny that you all guys you guys all like the idea of what if, because I think that's, like, the weakest yeah, one see, out was, of all of them. I was about it, to say that, it too. It will Trigger. be the weakest, but it's I think it'll be the most fun out of all of them. Well, because I yep. don't think it'll, it won't have anything to do with it, because it's yeah, just a what if show. That's the best thing Yeah, that's it. what I I'm think, saying. That's what I think. It's going to be the most fun. Yeah. Doctor Strange, the first one was okay. The second it's one good. was... Eh. The visuals were great. Story was... Bleh. Visuals were good, yeah. Visuals were amazing. Visuals were cool. The story was yeah, I don't ripping know, off like, of uh, yeah. Inception. I don't know anything about Shang Chi here, so no, I was I, ripping I off the way it that. ended. Shit. It's like, oh, I'm annoying you to death. I thought that was interesting. It was different than like a big final battle mm. against yeah. a big CGI yeah. army. So, yeah, but although yeah, it was okay. Although, um, Mormamu, the main villain of this uh, first Doctor Strange movie. They kind of, they kind of. I think that's why I didn't like it so much, is because Mormamu is like a big deal, and they are like, let's throw him in a Doctor Strange movie. Have fun, bye. Yeah. Mormamu, yeah. I've come to bargain. Oh, oh, yeah. What? And it's like Mormamu <laughs> could. Nani, non desca. Doctor Strange son. Part of, the, <laughs> part of the reason why I think that they're doing, uh, what's the name of the. Shang Chi, I'm sorry. Shang Chi and yeah, Legend of the yeah. Ten Rings. I, it's because yeah. Marvel. If you think about it, a lot of the Marvel movies are different genres of movies. Yeah, so like, yeah. you know, my man yeah. crush and Ant Man is yes. what it's a yeah. heist movie. It's a heist it's a comedy. Heist yes, it's so funny. Winter Soldier Incredible. is like a spy movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. So they need mm-hmm. a Kung Fu movie. Yeah. Oh, See, dude, and I also, apparently, speaking of Doctor Strange, apparently the next Doctor Strange movie is going to be like a horror thriller movie yes oh good. sounds interesting down, i love horror favorite mystery and investigation movies are my like i think oh, in a uh, in phase four i think watch i want to see the eternals <laughs> i'd want to see blade get brought back Ooh, yes. I want oh yeah to Forgot flesh about out more yeah flip brood blade Oof. i swear what's this nice better be out again. more of a oh god he they won't they won't do <laughs> they'll do they'll do like a younger person yeah, um, they already got the <laughs> I think X Men and Fantastic Four should probably get fleshed out more in Phase oh, Four. Oh yeah, bring them back. Since Do now that they actually maybe? own the rights to them. No. Well, I know they're, they're not doing alternate timelines. I know apparently they're not making a Deadpool three, but they're gonna throw Deadpool in a lot of stuff apparently. Wait, what? They were talking they... about doing um, a Deadpool and Logan thing. Like yeah. Wolverine said he'd come, or uh, Hugh Jackman said he'd come back. Only if it was the MCU. Just to do a movie. Yeah, just to do a movie with Deadpool. Yeah. I just don't know if they want to keep the the previous um x-men universe around because they you hear how disney literally yes. trashed every fox movie that was in, yeah. that, that was in yep. that they were planning they just mm-hmm. threw it all in the garbage which because uh, of so because good, of yeah. the last x-men movie did so bad they were like oh it did the, terrible. the days did of this. future past though that was theirs the whole um the whole spinoff where they got the younger cast that was all marvel that wasn't fox that was marvel's decision yeah, no, yeah, that was no, that was all Marvel's movies, because um, well, yeah, um, but I mean, Fox it's, it's originally Fox's... owned the OG X Men. Mm. Fox is producing it, yeah, but none of the yeah. none of the Mar- none of that uh, the X Men stuff is MCU. Yeah, it's, it's all, not like, canon. Contained. Apparently, because like in the first Deadpool movie, whenever they do the fight on that big you know ship, it's actually the hell. Oh, yeah. it's actually the helicarrier. So a helicarrier, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, just kidding. Um, actually. <laughs> you guys don't know what I think about X Men and Fantastic Four in the MCU. Uh, uh, I never watched again, them. So. <laughs> once, once again, on popular opinion, uh, I just I, like uh, I, I, X three. I would favorite. be down. I would be down with uh, MCU Fantastic Four. I think that would be cool. Yeah. I really, really, really do not want them to bring the X Men into the MCU. So you want to be oh, a really? separate yeah. thing? Like, You'd want to be separate, like it would have no bearing on the MCU. Here, I'm here's the, the thing. Opposite, honestly, here's the thing about X Men. Yeah. Because of the precedent set by the X Men movies, there are very, very few people, comparatively, who actually want to see more X Men. True. Because well, they don't have Wolverine dad. anymore either. Because the main yeah. focus of X Men was Wolverine. And like for yeah. the for the it, old people who like the comics, like Wolverine is a new Avenger. He's like 
he's one of the Avengers. So yeah, and mm-hmm. Iron Man's gone. So like the the new Avengers are Spider Man, uh, Iron Man, Captain America, and Wolverine, and two of those guys are gone. So everyone's like, well, he's not gonna be an Avenger now. So I don't want to see him in the in the MCU. Yeah, I think that if Marvel is going to do an MCU with X Men, I think that they should take it from the top. Yeah. And make make well. Here's what I would say: uh, make uh, what's the name of the X23? Yeah, the mm-hmm. new Wolverine. And if you're gonna have X Men, just get new X Men. Do do new X Men? Like do new, new X Men? There's everyone with the new people powers. Playing them. Well, what I would say is continue the line of Logan. Mm. continue that yes. storyline or set yes. that in that universe yes. make x23 Please. the new wolverine and all those kids that they rescued bam that's your new x-men new right X-Men. there so that's it's what um it's actually that's what funny I would that they the whole logan like the whole logan standalone thing was um the way that plays out is he ends up going pretty much going to different timelines where there were other wolverines so there's feral wolverine um there's a symbiote one where he ends up getting uh, taken over by the the uh, symbiote, the uh, the Venom symbiote, um, which actually isn't a bad thing. Those things are actually really nice. That one just mm-hmm. hated, that one just hated Spider Man for ripping itself from him, and then Eddie also hated Spider Man. So that's why his main purpose was to kill Spider Man. But um, in that timeline, he ends up changing a lot of stuff, which is why you got like in the in the X in the not X Men, the Wolverine movies, like the standalones, how he was going through those different phases. Those were all in line with the comics. But he ends up going and meeting X-23. Hmm. He doesn't actually end up raising her like in the movie. He ends up actually going and meeting her and then having to pretty much take her in as a daughter and knowing the fact that, okay, well, I'm going to die and you're going to take over from here. Let me show you this, this, and this. But there's so many different scenes where they're sitting there beating the living hell out of each other. And she's Hmm. just whooping up on him because she has like claws in her feet. She has like two claws. She has claws everywhere. It's ridiculous, but... Yeah, that would be if that would it, be a nice tie-in. I think if, if I they was, were gonna do them, I think they should do an origins movie for <laughs> all of them. <laughs> oh man! And you keep for... Ace Man. No, no, no! They should give a no. Disney Plus. They need a Disney Plus series for each origin. And then they make the movie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty much what they did with Infinity War. Ooh. That's how they introduced. I mean, that's how they introduced yeah, all of the own. Avengers. Was they made their own they, they could, movies? They could just. I mean, yeah, they could just recycle. They could just recycle it. Like, okay, yeah, I make think a Cyclops yeah. movie. Oh, okay, make so it yeah, movie, but they would be that movie, and then I think it should be its. Okay, that says this, this thing. I think they should do that's like its own thing. So like, they have the Avengers. Avengers is over, but they should start up an X Men one where they have like a Cyclops movie, yeah. a Jean Grey movie. Wolverine exactly. movie, but then they bring exactly. up an X Men movie to where they have to fight something big, and then if they have to do like Which a is new, everything. and then after they do like a new Avengers movie, it's so like then they do a new Avengers where all the new Avengers come together, and then I think Galactus needs to show up and just end the MCU, and where the X Men universe and the new Avengers like have to cross over at some point. Yeah, and like Galactus, Man, like Galactus, like ends the whole thing. It's like this is the last thing that that's the biggest threat that they could possibly. Well, for well, that, C, Galactus maybe. and Hulk, Galactus and Hulk, if you wanted to do that. Ooh. But there's so much in the MCU universe because Hulk is becoming a herald of Galactus. Ooh, but, a um, Deadpool does too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There's a there's a whole string in the MCU um, universe, or the MCU movies. They they don't incorporate X Men and Fantastic Four when they are literally so important. Yeah. Mr. Like when Fantastic. You, when you talk about them in the comics, they they're literally the first ones to go to. Like That's everyone true. always goes That's to Johnny true. Storm. Yeah, they, everyone then, always goes to um, Mr. Fantastic for the smart stuff. Yeah, star. everyone always goes to Mr. Fantastic. Whatever they've because like a, he's yeah. he's the smartest one. Everyone always goes to Doctor Doom because he's not a bad guy. Yeah. Like because they they need their help. Yeah. Mm. In Civil War, they they went to Doctor Doom and uh, a lot of the exactly. bad guys. Exactly. And even when they went to Doctor Doom and Civil War, it was like they didn't know if they were talking to the real Doctor Doom because guess what? You can do a movie or a TV show about this. Doctor Doom was actually dead, hmm. but he was so smart. He created so many things called Doom bots that had the exact same power levels as him and were just as smart as him and exact replicas of him that you did not know if you were talking to a Doom bot or the real man himself. That's pretty But sweet. there were hundreds of them. Hmm. And they were literally just – Doing their own thing. They weren't doing anything evil, but they were helping out. That's pretty yeah. sweet. Hmm. 
here's what here's what I would say. Like if I was Marvel, if I was Marvel, I don't know if I would. You could not get closer to your mic. Get closer yeah. to your mic. If I was Marvel, <laughs> I wouldn't even have tried. What? Can, can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I was Marvel, I would have not even, I would have been super hesitant about even getting X-Men back. Mm. And now that I have X-Men, I would be super, even more hesitant Careful. to actually do something with them. Yeah. Because it's it's a it's a franchise that had so much potential, yeah. but the president is terrible. Yeah. It's just, it's just terrible president. So I think if I was Marvel and, I'm, and now I have um, the X-Men, IP, I honestly would would do what I said. I would just start taking to the top, make new X Men, but I don't think I would incorporate it into the MCU. I think I would just do Disney Plus series with them, mm. you know, for all the, you know, all three people that want that. And <laughs> and I agree with you, <laughs> and I agree with you, Nick. I I I love how we should bring in Galactic into it. Like I think that would be, you know, if there is an end in sight for the MCU, I think that would be the end to do Galacticus. Yeah. And in yeah, order for sense. you to do Galacticus, yeah, in order for you to do Galacticus, you have to do the Fantastic Four, yeah. which I would love to see a Fantastic Four MCU movie. Me too. And they should they should cast uh, John Krasinski and Mitch Fantastic. Mm. Yeah. So maybe they do like a Fantastic Four movie and an X Men Origins for each of them. Then they do make an X Men movie, then another Fantastic Four movie. Then another. I, event, I don't think a new Avengers movie. Then I don't they, think you should. They all have to cross, and then like at the I don't know. at the end of like when they all cross, maybe they have like maybe they have like a big setup movie where like they all cross. They have like, hey, I heard this guy. He's really smart. Uh, something about the Fantastic Four, and then it's like, I don't know. Let's go talk to these X people that we keep hearing about, and then like Silver Surfer comes mm-hmm. in at the end, and he's like, you have all been chosen. And I don't like, know if oh, I would do shoot. that. Well, there's and there's so many like. I, I see. I like the fact that we're talking about it too. There's literally you could make any of these happen, and then just have it all tie in, and end up with them fighting some type of celestial being. Like there's so many powerful celestials in yeah. Marvel because they just love making everybody OP. Like more mom. Like yeah, that's true. exactly. Like they could fight Sidorak, and Sidorak is literally the the source of Juggernaut's power, who mm-hmm. is broken as hell. Like they could fight Overmind, like Molecule Man, Magnus. Like they could fight. Hella, like they could fight oh, so yeah. many Dormammu, they could fight so many different people, is Hella and just dead? have it all tie into that. I think so. Like the Phoenix Force, they could they could have a they could have a whole thing with X Men oh, and tie yeah. in the Phoenix Force, where like before it even goes between Jean Grey when it's just the Phoenix Force, oh, oh, or oh, even yeah. Abrax. That, that reminds or Galactus, me. Oh like my gosh, saying. that reminds me. My friend actually is a big fan of Scarlet Witch, and he gave an idea of how they would introduce the X Men. Because in the oh, other M no, comics, please, no. in other M comics, Scarlet Witch is so powerful. She's like, she's like a nightmare of all these mutants. She's like, no more mutants, and they all disappear. So, oh, the House of M, yeah, that's called the House, House of, of M. M. That's the one. Yeah, so, that's the Magneto takes over and everything. So yeah. he was like, Scarlet Witch is so powerful with the telekinesis that she could get rid of all the mutants. So it's like, what if she just dreams up mutants and then they all <laughs> come in? And that's how they. I mean, bring... that's essentially what happens. Yeah. So if like. Since they have Scarlet Witch, she could like dream in all the X Men pretty much into the oh, universe. Keep the X Men yeah. away, please. And just make a. I mean, even because that was actually part of the the um, Secret Wars, the House of M. Like that's a whole thing. That's all. That's all X Men. That's literally all X Men. They could mm. do a whole movie about that, and then but bring they them shouldn't. back. <laughs> <laughs> and like please, I think they God. did, and even like tying it in because they they again they did the X Men wrong because yeah that's what brought people into watching Marvel like oh true that, true we're that. gonna watch these X Men movies that's what we're gonna watch it's yeah. cool and the Hulk and everything came out and Fantastic Four first one wasn't that bad it was all right for its time but then when they it brought in terrible. the Silver Surfer yeah the Silver Surfer literally comes because um it's not Galactus who uh who eats the worlds Galactus, oh, Galactus. Galactus yeah it's Galactus the so the whole point of the Silver Surfer is like anytime he comes to a planet, yeah, you his know. one sole job is, is like, hey, you all need to get the hell up out of here. Galactus is going to come and eat your world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So hey, it's like, that, that's the whole thing. What's up? Uh, speaking about Phase 4, did they... I know that Guardians 3 is happening. Is that in Phase 4? Uh, it doesn't look like it. No. It looks like Phase like, 5. I think it's a standalone. They're, yeah, they're waiting. To I'd be okay with yeah, that. It's not, not on, it's not on the list. It got it I'd got okay delayed. The development got delayed because of uh, because of the tweets that he said from like twenty million yeah. years ago. <gasps> don't oh, please don't get me on that. Please don't get me <laughs> okay, on okay, that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh god. <laughs> we we all agree that it was. I think we can all agree that it was pretty dumb of it. Yes. Oh 
course. Yeah. And the Edgar Wright thing was stupid too. Oh no. yeah. Well, Edgar Wright. Ant Man would have been way better. They just didn't agree. It, oh yeah. Ant Man's great. Would've. It's one of the best ones, but it would have been so much better if Edgar Wright had just done the whole yeah. thing. Oh my god. True. That's true, dude. Have you seen Baby Driver? No, and it takes place in DQ in my we backyard. We watched Baby Driver, didn't we? No. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, dude, imagine basically the Marvel equivalent of maybe of Baby Driver. That's what Ant Man would have been like. Yeah, yeah, it would have been really sick. That would have been. Tell, you can tell hype. some of the sequences were definitely. Yeah, and it over. would have taken place in Atlanta as well. So, I would have been okay with that. No, actually, no, because Ant Man takes place in the West Coast. There's, there's yeah. no. Is there any superheroes from Atlanta? Baby? I don't think I don't so. Know. I'm gonna cry. Racist man. I'm just kidding. Oh my oh, gosh. Well, well. I'm joking. I'm joking. I don't know. Marvel. Yeah, I, I was like Adam Levine. <laughs> yeah. Adam Levine, superhero from Marvel Atlanta. Marvel hero like, from I Atlanta. I want them to bring in. I want them to bring in Warside. I want them to bring in uh, Onslaught. Like. <laughs> I want them to bring in Neutron. I want them to bring in um, Gladiator. Like, there's so much stuff that they can do. But I feel like they're they're starting to go down DC's path. Like Ooh. I don't I don't I don't want to change anything. Ooh. But I feel like they've no, they're I starting agree. to paint themselves in a corner if they don't yep. play this out correctly. Yeah. Ooh. No, because I think they've already been. There's, there's a lot that there's a lot that can go wrong in this one phase here. here yeah. Here's what I think. Here's what I think. I think that it's you know they're spreading themselves out too thin yeah. for Ooh, one. Bro, they have and. They're, if they're not careful, they're going to Assassin's Creed it. Oh God! Well, here's the thing. They ha- here's the thing. I'm looking up at yeah, Phase big Four. Oof. I'm looking at Phase Four here. There are ten properties coming out over two years. Jesus. Black I've Widow. I've been saying this. Black Widow, Eternals, saying- all of them, all come out within 2020 and 2021. Mm. So, dude, listen. I've been saying this <laughs> since like for the past three years, like. I love the MCU. It's, it's an unprecedented. It's, I think it's about to be. It, it's the, it, you think it's going to be well, over after? Well, no. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I love the MCU. It's amazing. It's unprecedented. Never in mm-hmm. the history of film has somebody true done that, this. True that. You know, right? they took something that was already actually no, I stand corrected. They took a failing genre. Yeah. And mm-hmm. turned it into one of the most like revolutionary. Yeah. They, tur- uh, movie they turned lame characters into awesome ones. Guardians, no one ever well, heard of. Iron Man was like, no well, one no, even no. knew Iron Man. Here's the thing. Here's the yeah. thing. The characters themselves were never lame. They were always very cool. Superhero movies used to be terrible. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dude, so, Stan Lee and, did such, like, such a good job like, revitalizing all that. And, mm, and, and here's, what, yeah. here's the problem when something goes mainstream. It, like I said, Assassin's Creed. It turns into money. Oh, They're just gosh. trying to shell them out, yes. make money. Well, here's what Disney's I've been problem. saying. That's Disney's fault. Oh, true. Yeah, I agree. And here's okay. what I've been saying. I believe that what they should do is pick an ending point and finish the MCU. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Before it goes, before they Star Wars it. Oh, oh God. gosh. I feel like. I feel like Phase Four is the most important phase of the MCU because it really makes. It or could go either or, baby. Yeah, it could go. Whether either the way. future of Marvel is actually going to be like worthwhile. True. Well, the, I think the downfall of it too is going to be it's not like they're, they're. I think the big ultimatum for them is going to be how do we make it catchy and how do we make it action packed enough? Yeah. To where people aren't just lulled and droned on. Yeah. Because well, that's they're the, at that yeah. weird awkward teenage phase where yeah. it's like. What what step are we gonna go in? That's true because right now yeah. they have no lead. There's nothing. Exactly. There's mm-hmm. nothing coming up that's yeah. forcing exactly. them to you know have a goal for this whole phase. And, and that's what's like scary. A, to be fair, this is what they did with the Avengers and stuff. Like exactly, yeah. Like we they, we we knew that they were leading towards the Avengers, but it's like okay, like no, actually that's a lie because they teased Thanos at the end of the Avengers. No, never mind. Yeah. I take it back. Well, it's it's that thing where they they oh, let yeah, people yeah he was red treasures, but it was <laughs> yeah he was yeah he was red, um, <laughs> but it's like they're it's it's gonna be cool in the fact that they're gonna for like the younger generation kids like they're gonna have to restart with them pretty much oh, and be yeah. like oh hey this is what we're like kind of like how we grew up with those movies yeah, right mm-hmm. and how before us. Like our parents grew up with the X Men movies and stuff oh, like that, bro, I grew and up so with I think they're gonna have to when they revamp it 
again, they're going to have to keep it catchy and everything like that. But they're also going to have to reintroduce yeah. so many new heroes that it's going to – I think a lot of its fan base is going to die off until yeah. they gain the traction that they already – that they pretty much set up for for the last 10 to 12 years. Yeah. Also, one of the problems they have is like the whole Disney Plus thing. Like, yeah, it's interesting, but like there are people who – can go to the movies and can go and watch the movies, but they yeah. don't want to be paying ten, fifteen dollars a month for a subscription service. Mm -hmm. And so you're exactly. locking half the story behind a paywall. So Charles, it's like, yeah, I don't know. I, I think it's, I think it's, it's exciting and it's interesting, yeah. and I'm, in, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what they do. But I'm not like I don't have my hopes up really. It's yeah. you have to. It's bittersweet. I'm I gonna think, cry. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be. It's gonna be really bad having to deal with. Oh, well, this isn't my Thor. Or yeah. this isn't my superhero. This, saying, isn't my this, this isn't my Thor. This isn't my Bass. Oh, Thor, Love and Thunder. There you go. It's what's her name? Valkyrie. Oh, yeah, no kidding. And yeah. she's <laughs> and she's gonna be bi. So I don't think but Valkyrie's gonna, gonna be to... in it. Yeah, she is. She's the new Thor. She is? Oh no! God, what if no? no Jane Foster. Natalie so. Portman. Yeah, we... Natalie Portman's gonna be the new Thor. What? Yeah. 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 They handed the, yeah, well, the hammer to her. What are you? I are they are they gonna force? I really hope they don't force political uh, oh, agendas down the no. road. Yeah. She yeah. is. I really hope she's they don't gonna be Mighty Thor. By... Yep. Honestly, I'm, oh. I'm, I'm. I'm much better with like I'm much Scratch happier me with, out. A, I hate Natalie with a Natalie Portman Thor Natalie or a Natalie Portman like female. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That uh, happens in the comics. That, versus that happens Captain in the Marvel. Comics. That happens. In, yeah, that, yeah, that happens. She becomes. Comics. That's I mean, that's what they're keeping up. Thor becomes a girl. Falcon actually does become Captain America in the comics. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, like. That's fine. I just don't want Natalie Portman. Up, so. Which is fine. Yeah. What's wrong with Natalie? Yeah, Natalie Portman is terrible. Yeah. She's terrible. What? She's not that bad. She's a what? jerk. Like, she. she She's not that thing. attractive. Honestly. Her character. Well, or no, no, no. Okay. Aside from that. Aside from that. That's a little shit. Did you see Star Wars Episode Two? My guys, she ruined the character of Padme Amidala. Yeah, because I mean, she definitely already existed before that movie. Exactly. She, she did. She did. Okay. She that did. becomes the issue. She did. That becomes the issue where it's like, oh, that's not my Padme. Yeah. Like, <laughs> that's where what it becomes she's, the issue. She was Padme the whole the whole time. No, he wrote them. He wrote one, two, and three way before he did four, five, and exactly. six. So he had the character written down way yeah, before. Yeah, but how how does everyone? There was no published information about it. No one else knew. Maybe some like there books were some, or something. Probably, like, yeah, probably books. All I'm saying is that if they recast Ant Man, I'm done with the MCU. <laughs> Why would they do they're, that? No, they're, they're not going to recast. No. Paul Rudd would have to die in order for that to happen. Oh, yeah. gosh. They, they're going to have to recast. Oh, don't, don't speak is that it? evil. <laughs> don't speak that so, evil. So, well, here's another Knock thing. Here's room. another thing that I want to bring up before we close out here. We're running a little bit. We're an hour, 12 minutes, hour 13. Um, so, this is just the future of Marvel. Yeah, I was going to say, though. Basically. So, here's the thing. They are going down the route of Halo right now, and I'm a little bit upset about that because... And Assassin's Creed. Yes, and Assassin's Creed. Halo 1, 2, and 3, ODST, and Halo Reach all set up ODST a story. Trash. It was great. <laughs> and then you had you had subsequent books that added on to the story, but they weren't necessarily canon. But then you had 4 and 5, which required you to go outside of the main game to get the actual yep. story to understand what's going on like how did buck become a spartan why who how did they get dr halsey who is jewel amdama you got to look up all this stuff outside you have to watch all these tv shows to get the main story and that's what i'm afraid of is what's going to happen in the mcu like if you don't yeah. watch falcon and winter soldier if you don't watch wandavision if you don't watch loki if you okay you can skip what if but if you don't watch hawkeye is it going to impact the way you watch the shows the movies is or it going to be versa. yeah i think so but i mean to be fair they also did that like with the movies too That's like true. if you didn't watch if you didn't watch doctor strange or you didn't watch but my parents my Ant man my mom like, and, who the hell is this guy but my mom and stepdad watched it and they caught up fine they were like oh cool the heroes are here they didn't have to watch them to be like yeah that's how my girlfriend was she had never seen any of the guardians and she loved infinity yeah, war and she loved endgame they, they oh, man, guardians are some of the best movies true dad i know she's Except missing the out one. second one's okay it's okay. Yeah. Reach down to the core of the earth, the, the planet. Here's what. How about how about Baseball. we say what? How about we say if if kind of what we did with Star Wars at the end of the, that episode, if you had autonomous control of Marvel right now, <laughs> what would you do? All right. Let's go one person at a time. Okay. And then uh, we can end the podcast that way, I guess. Okay. Well, let me before we do that, let me just say that Atlanta in the Marvel comic books has, uh. <laughs> 
no one, <laughs> basically. Um, basically nice. no one. You have Kevin Ford, who is Wither. Don't know who that is. And then, nice. you know who Wither is? Oh, he's no, in, I was just saying. Oh, he's, a, he's a new mutant. He was a sarcastic nice. He's some new mutant. He's a mutant. I don't care about him. And then we have Albert Cleary, who is from Earth-616. Don't know who oh, that good, is. My favorite. Oh, he looks... <laughs> He looks racist. High cost of living, man. Uh, he looks racist. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Oh, see, he told you. I'm just kidding. Withers from the House of M. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. So, never mind. So Atlanta has no part in the MCU, really. Crying, but Rip. okay. Someone else. Someone else. Go ahead with the Phase Four. With you at control. I can go first. Try and keep it a yeah. little bit brief. We're at one fifteen. An hour fifteen minutes. All right, Benny. Go ahead. He, he, Wait, he, Benny, he, he muted himself. <laughs> Benny, no. <laughs> Benny, what have you done? He's probably sorry, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah, go ahead. No, no, no. Yeah. I accidentally muted myself. I'm okay. sorry. Go ahead. Sorry to the fans. Sorry to all my fans out there. We have uh, very like humbly. Six, 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 Here's what I would do. I'm a, I see, and I, I'm an artist. So I, this is coming from a really artistic perspective. We're all, we're, we're all artists be, here. That's true. That's true. I believe in starting something and ending something. Yeah, you know the thing about Hollywood is about making money. I get it, so I believe in ending something and call it a day and call you know good job. So with the mm-hmm. MCU, what I would do is first of all, Marvel has IP out the wazoo, mm-hmm. like they have so much IP. So I would, you know, for ten years the Infinity War saga. I think that you do the Infinity War saga and you end it. Yep. Mm-hmm. And then what I would do is I would just make a new saga with completely brand new characters. Mm. I think that's what they're going to do, too. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Cool. I'm talking about, like, well, no, because they're bringing in Hawkeye. They're bringing yeah. in uh, yeah. all these people. Yeah. So what I would do is, like, I wouldn't even touch... If they were in the first movies, in the first saga, nope, we're not using them. Ooh, that's what yeah. I would do. And I would just man. use brand new characters. I would just use brand new characters. Um, you know, because Marvel has a lot of IP that they could use. Yeah. So yeah. that's what I would do. And then... um. I guess I would do like Disney Plus series that I don't know. I, I really don't care too much about those, but I I don't know. I, I maybe depends mm-hmm. on you know what characters I would want to use. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But for example, like you got Blade and you have you know Moon Knight and all these other characters that, or something that else you could do is you could do an all villains movie Ooh, with villains that they weren't used in the other movies. But better, but actually good. So that's what I would do. I would end oh, the Sinister Infinity Six. Saga. Six. Yeah, exactly. So I That'd would end that. the Infinity or Heroes for Hire. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I got Heroes for Hire, here. you know. So I would end the Infinity War Saga and don't touch any of those characters as main characters, as main players, and just bring in new IP. That's what I would do. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. I'll go, I'll go last. I'll go last. So, Diki, you go ahead. So, Want me to go? Yeah, okay. yeah, you go ahead. Um, so, I guess you're talking about what we would do? Yeah, if um, you had control yeah. of Phase 4, what would you do? All right, so I would bring... I Of course, I'd bring Blade back. I agree with you on that. Um, as we were talking about earlier, I'd bring back X-Men and Fantastic Four. I wouldn't do... I'd probably bring the House of M back for X-Men just to kind of vamp it all up again. And turn it into, if you want to talk about the Disney stuff, just put it on their platform and turn it into a series. Same with Fantastic Four, because I think maybe do standalone movies for some of the important characters, but the side characters and stuff, kind of like how they did with the X-Men animated series, just mm, turn this yeah. into, not even an animated series, but just turn it into like a series in general. Just to have that and have like on the ground stuff. Um, they need to bring, I want them, I hopefully want them to bring in daredevil and punisher Mm, want them to somehow incorporate them into a bigger light i mean they're good as series um they're really good as series but i would like them to be brought into um a light too but if not then x-men and fantastic four can go that route with them um bring blade back as a movie blade has a pretty he's not really significant i could see that being a series as well um the eternals i want that to be brought back uh, Excalibur, I want him to actually invent the Avengers 4 and Excalibur in Phase 4. I want them to pretty much all be brought back because he can have a lot of impact as well. Um, but in terms of, I guess, it's going to be hard 
starting a whole new casting set again because that's essentially what they're going to have to do. That's what they did in the comics, and they got a lot of backlash for it. But there's they have to do a good job of tying in, or I guess if I controlled it, I would try to do a good job of tying in everything and making sure the foundation of the new major superheroes isn't ruined and they're lovable characters that you know for a fact are going to grow mm. and you're going to enjoy to love them just as much if not more than you love the original characters but mm, that's just a problem yeah. that they're going to have to do because i mean they did it in the comics so they have to they have to bring it in the comics did a good job of making sure that you love yeah. the new people just as much yeah. as you love the can, old ones. can i i'm sorry but to agree with you can i i just want to say this right quick to to agree with your point unless you're a comic book fan you didn't truly know who Thor was. True. So exactly. yes, you could exactly. bring in new IP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Hmm. Hmm. I'm I'm gonna get controversial for a second, and <laughs> if if I'm being completely honest, I I feel like they should have just should have died in Civil War. Everything. <laughs> That's true. But I did like his uh, to be, uh, sidetrack. I did like his and Nebula's interaction in, in Endgame. I thought that was kind of cool. Yeah, that was so, yeah, it was, was a, cool. uh, an was interesting and and. Uh, interesting team up but mm. um if i were if money wasn't a thing and businesses weren't trying to make money and all that i would honestly i would probably just end it because i feel like i agree the yeah. whole mcu yeah. and like the the culmination of everything and i i feel like far from home should have happened quit before, while you're ahead before um end game but yeah, yeah seriously quit while you're ahead just like end quit on a good ahead. note and just like yeah you don't have you don't have to know what happens to these characters you know like you just like they gave them a good you know end for for the main players and and they gave it you they make you you know you understand that the yeah. other characters are gonna have um you know take up others helms and like like falcon and whatnot and mm. you know and you don't have to know good. what happens with that but you know that it happens yeah and i yeah i thought endgame was really good and it was the best way they could have ended the whole saga yeah but yeah. if i had to realistically what they're probably going to do is they're they're everything's going to be tied together. Mm. Um, I think they're going to bring the Fantastic Four into the MCU. I think they're going to bring the X-Men into the MCU. Um, I'm guessing Galactus is going to be the kind of, in a couple phases, that's the big bad who we fight, kind of like Thanos. Um, but yeah, I think, I hope that they don't rely too much on their, on their Disney Plus services, but I definitely think that they're all going to be connected. I think that everything is going to be tied to the same universe. Yeah. Um, I understand. I, I I think that it would be interesting, like what Benny said, with uh, making them their own self-contained things. Uh, but I don't think I don't think that's going to be the case. Yeah. Mm. My turn. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I actually was about to say pretty much the exact same thing you did. But if well, not actually, I would have gone with what you said, like the continuation of if money wasn't a problem and if people's interest. If I knew without a shadow of a doubt that you know. That these movies were gonna for for sure go on for as long as they can, then I mm -hmm. would do um, uh, some solo movies, maybe like a duo movie for each of the X Men, all of the Fantastic Four. Um, yeah. I would even try and bring in maybe the Defenders a little bit. Uh, Ooh, all yeah. of these Rip. big, all of these big ensemble characters, like they've had all these big ensembles. Why not just do like all of Phase Four, just be a big of a, a bunch of ensemble ones. Like, mm -hmm. you would have Guardians 3, because that's a big ensemble. And you got Thor with them, I guess, is from the end from Endgame. So you got Thor with Guardians. You have the X-Men. Maybe they have, like, a couple... Maybe they have maybe they have the Disney Plus uh, TV shows where they have, like, a little bit of Origins. Or if, like, they have one season where each character gets an own episode and then it comes out with a movie, I'd be okay with that, too, for both Fantastic Four and um, what you call it. Um, and I would, I would make Galactus the big one, but I would have an entire yeah. movie set up to where it's just all of the ensembles having to come together somehow, like, like, uh, at the beginning of the movie or like at the end, Silver Surfer comes down and he's like, all right, this ch planet has been chosen to be, uh, consumed by Galactus. And then all of a sudden these, uh, I would make a new Avengers movie too. I forgot to say, like I said before, I would have like. Uh, Falcon, Wolver, like all of them, all the new Avengers that we have here would come in. Then all the ensembles have to contact each other somehow. Like they would get wind, like in all the movies that get wind of each other. You have an X Men drop in 
the Fantastic Four movie, and then the Fantastic Four drop in the New Avengers movie, a Guardians drop in uh, the Defenders movie, or something like that. Then drop. they would uh, they would all have to um, get together. I don't think I would introduce too many new characters. Maybe like a Moon Knight. <laughs> Maybe drop a Moon Knight in there. But uh, all these ensembles would have to come together to fight Galactus. And then I would end the MCU with this even bigger than um, Infinity War was. So Or uh, um, Endgame. Even bigger Endgame. than Endgame. Th- that would literally be like five times as big as the Endgame. And that would be ridiculous. There's no way that anyone could ever do that realistically so mine's like far-fetched out there and it relies on people not getting tired of the bull crap <laughs> well you would have to cut the bull crap early and yeah. start finishing stuff. Yeah. literally i agree i agree 100 percent. like the entire last phase of marvel would have to be all of these ensemble movies coming together somehow yeah that's what i would do also yeah, I but i think Revamp the immortals as well because mm. they did a trash job at that Okay. I think that's, yeah, you know, I guess to wrap it all up, I guess what we're all saying is, like, we want a nice, concise ending to yeah. something that we need in our life. lifetime. Yeah. Yeah, well, think about the think about the cultural ramifications of the MCU. Oh, true. We want it to end, we want it to end on a high note because this is something that for the past 10 odd years. Mm-hmm impacted our culture and it started as something niche yeah. and became something super, super unprecedented super and super well not even just super mainstream but super revolutionary True, what other movie universe this. has like what other movie universe in the history of film has 20 odd films in it yeah star wars fast and furious star wars fast awesome. and so, furious they, they got it fast and furious too they, i mean they it's track with that like the MCU is just like people have looked at like filmmakers have looked to this and like have, are starting to copy it. I mean, with yeah, like yeah. Fast and Furious and DC, it's like it, yeah, like what Benny what said. It started yeah. with I that think niche thing. I think even Star Wars kind of copies off the MCU. Yeah, a yeah. almost bit. with the side movies, the side movies, sure. and they're bringing in all these old <laughs> characters to kill them off. Mm-hmm. Speaking of which, something I wanted to mention earlier. Uh, um, it's like I know it's been rumors for a long time, but there are some very valid uh, rumors that. Um, Obi Wan is getting his own Disney Plus series, which better be called, ain't confirmed. Better be called uh, High Ground, or I'm gonna it's k- almost. Beat it's up. almost. It's basically. It's basically confirmed. Like uh, people have people know that he's in talks with Disney right now. Uh, so yeah, so, I think that exciting yeah, stuff. I know Nick is your show, but no, it's our think, show. Our show. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I think that you know the best way to go out is to say what you know. Noah and we all basically agree on is to. The MCU, the amazing thing that we spent 10 odd years watching, ended on a high note. Yeah, Quit mm-hmm. while you're ahead mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. set that as the bar and president yeah. uh, of what a good universe should be like. And obviously, there's going to come something else. Some a, a new IP will come along and stand on the shoulders of the MCU. And that's yeah. okay. Yeah. And that's okay. I mean, Into but... the Spider-Verse could have been... St- could be the next thing. I don't know. That was such a good movie. That was amazing. Really great movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm gonna cry. That doesn't get have, have any of you guys seen Gravity Falls? Uh, of course, some of them. All of it I haven't seen. Them. Yeah. I haven't seen all of it. I've yeah. seen some of them. So like, like bits it. and pieces. I know the the creator Alex Hirsch. He made the show with an ending in mind, and the se- the show's only two seasons long, and he ended it, and there's never he's never gonna make any yeah. more because he had one story that he wanted to tell, and I think. That's one of the reasons why it's so good is because like mm-hmm. it. That's the best story. Good show the, and it and yeah. ended. That's the best storytelling is when you see the end when you start with the end in mind. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. that's that's good. Well, that's how Harry Potter is too. I don't know why not. I mean, that's that's how agree on that. that's how Halo started. Yep. Was they so, had yeah. an, they had an end in mind and they ended it, but then they were like, yeah. "Where could the story go from here?" And then they're like, "Here is this." foundation we set for you if you are going to continue go off of this so so the marvel movies have set this foundation that if someone is going to continue the story they have a pretty darn good foundation but there's no ending Mm -hmm. yet so it's not a solid foundation 
unfortunately. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> like they have the first floor done. Like, uh... oh, yeah, the first what ten stories? You know, <laughs> but there's still building. <laughs> Empire State Building up in here. Yeah. Huh. I, I think that's you know a, a good story has an ending in mind. Yeah, I th- mm-hmm. actually, and maybe they do scratch that. I changed my answer at the end. Instead of the Avengers, all these big ensembles killing Galactus, the Millennium Falcon comes through a portal and crashes through the head of Galactus and blood splatters on the screen. The Master Chief comes jetpacking in and says, Cortana, I need a weapon. And then it cuts to black. <laughs> the end. <laughs> but they never explain it, right? Yes, never explain exactly. It. That's, never that's, how, credits, nothing, just that's how it ends. That's, yeah, yeah, that, that's how it get ends. Get the hell out of the movie that's theater. How, that's how, <laughs> that's how <laughs> <laughs> never watch any movies anymore so stupid <laughs> alright I think that's gonna be okay I'd be like yeah right on right Master Chief is now good. MCU confirmed what was it that Let's William Falcon back to reading books like normal people <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> okay well I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Lorecast uh, it's yeah. been an honor talking with you all today Mm-hmm. Um, it's actually been a privilege. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> so I know I announced a couple of ep- eps- of uh, episodes in the last episode. So I'm not going to do that again because we, yeah, whether you believe that. it or not, we are not full time podcasters, and we don't have any, <gasps> we don't have an inter- we don't all have entertainment don't jobs. We're not don't, like don't, we're not like you know we can't sit down and podcast every day. And I spend my week <laughs> scripting everything that I just said. What are you talking about? <laughs> I have a so, whole article pulled up. Right I did. Now. I did announce. I have last, a character arc. Yeah, and <laughs> my schedule will still be this the same. This is actually. Uh, this is actually a a, a multi uh, a cinematic universe right here. Uh, uh, <laughs> podcast well, cinematic that's universe. How we go. Yeah. Listen. Well, check out my character arc. <laughs> I, I'm. I'm really. Uh, obviously, I sound Mexican, but by the end of this arc, I'll be Asian. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Get you sound. I sound extremely yeah. white, and by the end of this, I will sound. <laughs> Uh, even so more probably wider, wider honestly. even wider. So check out our podcast on Disney Plus. Uh, oh gosh. So okay. <laughs> well, that does remind me. It is going to be up on different platforms here soon. I will put it on Anchor.fm, and that will allow us to run ads right away and get a couple of uh, a few dollars in. I don't know what. So help me if you screw me out of my royalties. <laughs> no, I was about to say. I was about to say whoever's in the episode, whenever that one gets ads, I'll like. Give you a fair cut. Like, Send me some Venmo us. money. You'll Venmo us. Yeah, like 17 Venmo yeah. yeah, for real. <laughs> I'll Venmo you. Um, I didn't know Venmo how much. Two bucks. But like, however much, however much needs to go towards the show. Like, I don't know what I would use it for. Like, buy production buy costs. you a microphone. Production. Yeah. Production. <laughs> buy you a oh, microphone. Thank you. Maybe buy everyone a, a nice audio interface. A brand new car. Oh yes, <laughs> an interface would be nice. <laughs> you get a microphone. Well, if yeah, that's true. So um. It will be on Anchor.fm, and I'm going to try and get it on Spotify, Spoofy here soon. So, Spoofy? Spotify, yeah. dude. Um, it's still on the original Nick show, and it's still streaming to Twitch. Um, and I highlight every episode, so you can go back and watch it there. Uh, I never check to see who's watching, so if, if we've ever been getting comments. I forgot to change the title of this one, too. Oh, well. Don't We're care. already famous. If you're, we if didn't you're a fan know. of me, please email me. Yeah. <laughs> email um, him. Uh, here's, at, my, here's my fax machine number. Please fax I'm me just going to say my bank account and social security number out loud right now. So you can... <laughs> okay. About to link up with my social security number, neighbor. Link and build. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know this was actually on Twitch. I would have pulled it up and yeah, able to do that. It's on uh, Tonscast. I'm going to change the name as soon as I can to Lorecast. If you're a real one, drop your social right now. <laughs> so I have been in talks. Okay, so I will say this on the channel because I've been saying it in the chat that we do this on and the Discord. I have been in talks with um, Fallout Lorecast. Maybe I can try and get him on. We could do like an episode with on Fallout. Sony? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> um, so he might. I don't know. I haven't really talked to him that much. But if I can get him on, that'd be a nice um, guest episode. With, Name dropping out here. Um, and <laughs> and uh, the Halo... Uh, um, podcast evolved. I wish I can get them on. They're kind of big, honestly, so I may not be able to get them. Um, but I will. I do. Have the, so the friend who is drawing, who is drawing my um, uh, 
the channel art for it. They are Beetle Milk, and I will try and get them on too. They can be guests. Um, they have deep lore in their comics, and I have all of their comics so far. Uh, they're pretty nice. You can all so I'll try and get them, them on. Send them to me so I can read them. Uh, <laughs> I can't send them to you. They're paperback, my dude. I could. Hmm, I don't know. Photocopy. Yes, fax them man. to him. <laughs> fax them. Yeah. To him. Fa- hey, I have a fax machine at work, man. Send it. Do you really? <laughs> Same actually. Well, yeah. I work at a school, so yeah. Uh, yeah. There's that one of work at a sense. government building, so that yeah. works too. That I actually yeah. found a fax machine at a thrift shop here, so I may just buy that. <laughs> Just there we go. Uh, buy and we fax, fax each other. Yes. There's a fax app. There's a fax app. You can take pictures and send them through fax with your phone. Maybe you guys you just maybe you guys would uh, your friends. Well, I mean, maybe you guys stop ignoring me. Then I'm out here looking. If I look back at the logs, it's all me being like, "Hey, everyone, check out this really cool stuff I got to tell you about." And then no one, <laughs> no one ever take talks to me Nick. back. Take I don't know hand. why. I don't know why <laughs> I'm not getting the I'm not getting the notifications, and I don't know why. Yeah, you've turned on push on, notifications. But I don't know what's um, so that is going to do it for this episode of Lorecast. We are still in August, so we're going to still try, still try and talk about Spider Man. I know we didn't really talk try. about. Sp- I know we, we try. <laughs> I, I know Capital we didn't. T. If <laughs> if we get Andy back in, um, then we can go into the deeper lore. Uh, we we can Andy's doing another podcast somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will be trying to do some readings to help bolster in between. Um, if you guys have anything you want to do in between, just let me know. So uh, That's going to do it for this episode of Lorecast. I have been your host, Nick, from the original Nick Show. Uh, today, again, joining me was Benny, Deaky, and Noah. We will uh, see you guys in the next episode of Lorecast.